Nintendo has apparently put out a statement. That's all I know. So uh, there's a video basically talking about this whole situation by uh, Rev says Desu. I probably completely obliterated that name, uh, especially since the Japanese at the end. And uh, I just want to basically want to see what exactly Nintendo it said. Got power roll because people are still coping and seething about this game. Now, over the past couple of days, gaming journalists, Western game developers, Twitter users, and alike have converged onto Pal World because they are mad about its success. In an attempt to smear this success, these people There's so have much hate about Pal World that I don't understand. Pal World has, by the way, uh, by like to, the date of today, so the 26th of January, has sold over 8 million copies. Oh my god. Which is absolutely insane. That's huge. Uh, but I. Man, why is there so much hate around it? I, I don't I, I don't understand. I really don't get it because it's genuinely a good game that's super fun. And yes, I, I, I'm a Nintendo fanboy too. I love Nintendo. But, but people people are always gonna hate on something. Yeah, but why? Because, Just for because the sake people of it? are angry. Yeah, people want to be angry on the internet. Yes. That's basically a thing. Try to make wild accusations against Pal World and its developers. And this post really sums up the timeline of events when it comes to these accusations. First, it was claims that the game was using AI, which... Bro, the Powell uh, discourse is insane and shows uh, what's wrong with Twitter. I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with Twitter. Let's let's get that out of the way. Like, Twitter is not normal. Uh, AI, AI art was, was used wrong. The dev team made a game where you guess if AI art was made or not. And the CEO made a tweet about Buzz, uh, about BuzzFeed using AI to make Pokemon designs. No AI art was used in the game. And I say it again, even if it was, I wouldn't think that's a problem. Uh, especially if it's not if it's an AI trained by your own data that you're allowed to use. Uh, Pokemon models were, uh, were stolen wrong. The person lied about it and even scaled the models to fit because they felt it promoted animal abuse. That is actually a true statement. The person that, like, we saw that in the last video we watched where uh, it got shown and like a person on Twitter posted like those two wolf models, like the Pokemon and oh, the yeah, Power yeah. version, and like put them over each other and said, yeah, it's, it's stolen from Pokemon. He later admitted to uh, like rescaling the models to fit and then said, yeah, he did that because uh, he thought the game promoted animal abuse and he wanted to make it look bad. Like, what the fuck, man? Hey, Bastion, by the way. Uh, the game used NFTs. Wrong. Some made it up since the CEO trades crypto. Uh, yeah. Uh, there, there is no NF NFTs in that game. And then NFTs are dying anyway. So I yeah. think no game study wouldn't, would do that ever. Uh, like, what the fuck is going on uh, in this game? Twitter is having a meltdown over a billion dollar, uh, billion, billion dollar competition between Game Freak and an indie dev. Everyone says, I heard... But don't even double ch double to check facts. Yeah, that's 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 very very true. Core does uh, NFTs. What is core? I think I have never heard of that. Yo, Peter had uh, had the same problem with Pokemon. Remember Pokemon Black and Blue? Uh no. What happened there? Oh yeah, I think back in the day that they uh that th there was a complaint about Pokemon uh by Peter. I think I remember that. Which of course was only supported by flimsy and irrelevant evidence that the CEO made a comment about a BuzzFeed employee using AI to make Pokemon designs. So when that failed, they moved on to claiming that Pal World was stealing Pokemon models. As it turns out, the person who was behind the thread making that claim later admitted that they fabricated the evidence and that they did this because they believe Pal World is glorifying violence against animals. Yeah, because that is a logic to go by. I think, even if I think that, it's 100% not the reason to go about it if you, like, fake news the game out of existence. That doesn't make you any better. Like, not at all. Peter made a parody Pokemon game with Bloodied and Bruce Pokemon fighting each other. Pretty messed up. Wait, they did? Why, though? Peter, Peter made that? Oh, they, apparently Pokemon. they did the same thing with Mario. It, it, wait, it actually fucking still exists. 
Oh my what? How is that actually a thing that exists on Peter's website right now? So that's what Peter thinks about Pokemon. Let's wait what they think about Pal World if they hear about it. Holy balls! <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be uh, ooh, uh, uh, yeah. I think that we're gonna play that game for a video. I think that's gonna be very interesting. Uh, so let's go back to the video. Then when that failed, people started claiming that the game uses NFTs, another wild and okay, baseless topic, claim, and the only thing- a cooking thi mama thing too. A cooking mama thing? Yeah. We'll, we'll look at the PETA games. I think we'll make that into the, to its own video. I think that's gonna be very, very fun. thing people could cite was the fact that the CEO trades crypto. There has been an immense level of hatred for Pal World and its success, and people like that have been trying to get Nintendo to take action against Pal World. They want Nintendo to do something because they can't handle the fact that this game continues to sell millions of copies. Well, they got their wish. Nintendo has finally addressed Pal World in probably the most cowardly of ways. But before we look into that, I want to share some good news with you guys. This marks two years since my VTuber debut. This week is a special week. And to celebrate and that, our friends over Let's at Ulu Market have released this signed poster like that, that you guys cool. can purchase. This is a very clean, beautiful design and something we haven't done before, where if you buy this over the next two weeks, I will sign every single poster made during that period. Bro, that is something I haven't done have before. No idea how much work John Hancock, the official Rev signature on the poster. Now the art's very clean as always with Uwu Market, but also you might have noticed this egg. If this doesn't make sense to you, to it's an inside the joke over at my Twitch community which conveniently is a great time to check out because this weekend I'm going to be doing a three-day subathon to celebrate my two-year anniversary as a VTuber. We're going to do all kinds of things. We're going to play Azur Lane for the first time. We're going to have some community events and games that you guys can be a part of. I'll be reacting to some videos. There'll be tons of giveaways. We're going to have sub goals with great community incentives and a huge surprise that's going to launch tomorrow that you don't want to miss out on. And that stream will be starting on Friday at... 4 p.m. EST, so you don't want to miss this out. Make sure Wait, to follow like my Twitch Friday. account in the pin comment and check out the Uwu Market poster gotta, in the pin comment up, as well. Now page. back to the content for today's video. So Pokemon has finally made a statement about Power World. So does the, the, the statement have any sort of teeth? Well, let's read the entire statement. It says this, made by the Pokemon company. We have received many inquiries regarding, regarding another company's game released in January of 2024. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. We will continue to cherish. Yeah, that's how that's what we already basically said before, right? That's so not typical for Nintendo to do. And I think the only reason why they did it is because a bunch of Twitter Pokemon fanboys are sitting at their uh, like keyboards being angry, uh, spamming Twitter with like, yeah, th this game steals from Pokemon. Nobody should play this game because it sucks. And and uh, basically are probably spamming Nintendo's messages as well um, to like, please Nintendo, ban, ban, ban this game. It took, it took from Pokemon. I don't have evidence for it, but please do it. And that's why I think Nintendo is forced to, to do yeah, a but, statement like that. But I don't think there's anything gonna come because they would have already done something if there's really like something wrong with pal world here's the thing i'm like 100 percent sure nintendo did not like did not hear about this just now they've known about pal world probably for a longer time yeah and probably since nintendo like, it was announced like looking at the fact that they already dmca the pokemon mod nintendo is usually a very quick shot when it comes to that and I think if they, if they had something, they would have already done yeah, something. Yeah, Nintendo is very protective. Yeah, because they at, le at least sent out like a cease and desist or something. But they haven't. They, they haven't. It's obvious that some pals uh, are Pokemon ripoffs. The Pink Lizard is a blatant uh, Salsa ripoff. Uh, just dipped in Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I mean, I I've talked about this before, so I'm just going to briefly mention this in this video. Um, people, like, art that's how art works, though. 
you get inspired by what other people do and you make it your own as long as you don't copy it by itself and like try to sell it as your own that's a problem but that's why we have copyright laws for and it, just because they look similar i don't think that's that much of a problem like to be completely honest just because it looks similar that's how art works like you, you don't reinvent the wheel you go and look what other people did you look at digimon you look at pokemon uh, and, and you design something similar that fits your game or pick those Pokemon out that you think are, like, good? Or, I, think, or I think the most people just compare it with Pokemon because Pokemon is, like, the biggest one that does that kind of thing. Yeah, but then there's allegations that Pokemons are stolen for, from another game. Yeah, see? So, so. Uh, there's the allegations that po some Pokemons are stolen from a different game. There has been allegations that Digimons has been stolen from another game. Uh, there... It's how so, art works. Yeah, someone invented it or someone came yeah. up with it first and then... You, you, you take it, it and started. You design it a little differently and then it's yours. And, and th that's okay. Uh, as long as you don't like blatantly rip it off, I'm fine with it because that that's how the whole thing, the industry works and, and the artists I work. I mean, someone said it in chat before, most Pokemons or most things are inspired by real life things like animals or objects also, and <laughs> like there's only so many ways you can draw a squirrel yeah. right uh and talk go, going back to the fact where i said that art works like that bro i promise you like a hundred years ago there has not been a single furry artist like 100 percent. and one person in the recent years started with the furry artist things and now there's multiple of them. Could you now also say that they all ripped this guy off? I don't think you can, because each of the furry artists is different. They have their own style, but it's still like, a f there's only so many ways you can draw a dog. I mean, I mean, same, like a, same thing with VTubers, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, same thing with VTubers. VTubers, are, VTubers were in the thing like five years ago or like eight years ago. Like you cannot blatantly say, yeah, you're ripping like X off because he did the same thing. There's of only so many colors and so many animals and I don't know. Yeah, there's so many, so many ways to, to draw a person. There's only so many ways to draw like an animal and, and that kind of stuff, right? So I, I, just because it looks similar and yes, I'm sure they, they, they are like, they designed some of the stuff similar to Pokemon to get some more attention to it. I'm sure they wanted to write that marketing gag. Um, but I don't think it's a problem. I mean, as long as it's not like too similar, it's fine. Which I don't, I don't think none of them are. Uh, I don't think none of them are too similar and I don't think... Um, I think there's like one or two that are kind of similar, but I mean, there's like 110 pals, so it's, yeah, it's fine. Like, first of all, there's 110 pals and like thousands of, like over a thousand Pokemon by now. and. I'm okay with what they did as long as they didn't steal any assets. And from what I've seen so far, and I've read everywhere, there's there's no evidence at all that they did that, that they stole any assets. So, yeah. Uh, someone, uh, someone is, what? Someone in chat, if you know, because it's a small question, does power do the whole element thing? Like how a Pokemon has fire Pokemon water? Yes, it does. Yeah, but it, it does it kind of differently it does it like with the survival thing too because if you if you want to fire your oven then you need a fire pokemon for that yeah I, and i still think in general uh power world is a closer game to arc than it is to pokemon to be like 100 percent. yeah that's why i said you can't compare yeah uh power world with pokemon because it's it, that one game is a survival game and the other is not yeah. It's 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 a very very different game. It's just a survival game that has instead of that you need to like put your dino down with narcotics and then tame it that way. You throw a sphere at it. That's like the only difference there. But besides it, it's like uh, for me at least a better version of Ark. I know a lot of people love Ark and I think Ark is a good game too. But I just like Power World more. And nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. Now this started off with a- The last sentence is very, very heroic. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon in its world. Uh, and we work to bring the world together through Pokemon into the future. Pokemon is a net kid. I'm not hating on Nintendo at all. I think they do what they must as a company. Um, 
but I don't think they're they're gonna do that much, uh, to be completely honest. And I don't even think. What What do you mean with, with they don't do that much? No, I, I don't think they they can do that much against Power World. Um, what? Honest question. Why Why should they though? So many people, so many adults, so many children love the Pokemon franchise. There's Pokemon centers all over the world. People are still gonna play Pokemon, and just because there's Pal World now, yeah, people are not gonna stop playing Pokemon because of that. Yeah, that's what I wa also wanted to say. I don't or think. Or loving the game. I don't think, and that's also something that that. Because like, you can like two games at the same time. Uh, yeah, and that's something that a court would look into as well. Of like, power <laughs> would have any uh, like would cost Nintendo basically money. Like that that would mean that people would play like less Pokemon games because of Power World. And they would not. Like I promise you everybody that that did play Pokemon before will still play Pokemon. Because it's a completely different game. And those people who haven't pl played Pokemon in a while because they don't like the 3D aspect of it or they just haven't like vibe with the recent games, they're probably not gonna do it again. Or even maybe because of that game they're gonna give it a try again. You don't even know. I mean, just because you don't like the game doesn't mean you don't like the franchise because Pokemon is more than a game nowadays. Yeah, true. Controversial take, but I actually like Power World more for adult gamers than Pokemon. It's basically what it is. It's an adult version of Pokemon. Yeah. I, I wouldn't too, say that. Damn, I love Power World. I mean, Power World is not a game for kids. That's for sure. The uh, whole gun thing and catching humans, I, I you wanna, wouldn't. I don't want to know how many kids play that yeah, game. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Looking at the... I wouldn't I market see the it as a game. Uh, yes, but there's a whole difference between if I market it for kids or not. I mean, there is no blood or anything involved. I still don't say it's a kids and game. And Fortnite is a kids game too. Yeah, true. So I guess you're right. I, you have the building, yeah, but you have the guns, yeah, and you have yes, cute yes, animals. So Fortnite, why not? Yeah, because you you take those cute animals and you have the option to butcher them, and you can use them as your slaves. Ah, that's kind of edgy for kids, to be honest. Yeah, but you can play like satisfactory too and have like a huge building thing yeah, but you don't, don't have any slaves in satisfactory the, the whole slave thing it's it's gonna is a problem why, why are you calling them slaves though you give them food. because they are you you no 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 you take care of them you give them medicine you pet them <laughs> okay oh, oh, see sure. you take care of them you that's know what not, would be the that's not what you do with the slaves. greatest move in eternity if the power devs managed to release power on the switch <laughs> that would be so funny. I, I don't. I doubt that's ever gonna happen. But still, players in Fortnite are digital avatars, though. They turn into pixel when they die. Yeah, I mean, there's the whole that con there's the whole controversy about that as well. Like, yeah, can... but but there is not a massacre if you kill pals. That's what I yes, mean. Yes, you there's... can butcher them. You can cut their arms off. You can butcher them, you, but when you just shoot at them or like, yeah, shoot I'm, your I'm not crossbow. talking about shooting being the problem here. I'm talking about the slavery and the butchering being a problem when it comes towards kids. Our kids, the kids in this generation, or so, I don't know. Yeah, even just because they do it doesn't mean it's good. Are used to. It still worse. doesn't mean it's good. With, if it wouldn't have those two mechanics, I'd be fine with it. But with those two, I'm not that much. Uh, Power is what we have always talked about Pokemon being. Yeah. Yeah, and and the numbers reflect that, right? A wild. But, but in in like Minecraft or something, you can also like it teaches set kids efficiency. What the fuck, <laughs> <laughs> bro? These nerds nowadays know too much. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't mean it's good. Doesn't mean it's good. There's. Kids do worse this day, and I'd rather have my kids. Yes, they do. I agree with you this guys. Then other things. But that doesn't mean it's good. But okay, let's keep going with the video. We're they going didn't off topic. even name Power World. It's like Voldemort yeah, to I these people. You know, it's not it's like, like this talk, is some the, the small indie company not that's not said. worth the time of Pokemon. You know, maybe it's like sold 10,000 copies and it's biting at the ankles of Pokemon. This game, Power World, is dunking on Pokemon. They are making a mockery of them with the level of sales. They have crossed over 8 million copies sold in only six days. This is sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I need to say that uh, the chat message is so good. How did you learn about mass meat production uh, methods, little Billy? I learned it from Power World. Yeah, <laughs> education. Education. I mean, 
I've learned a lot of things from from video games. Yeah, I did too, but I, I don't think uh, how to butcher <laughs> cute animals is a good thing. Especially don't try it at home, kids. Don't try it at your neighbor's cat, you know? Someone you need to name directly. We all know who you're talking about. And to say uh, just some game that released in January is awfully disrespectful and insecure about this situation. But overall, what does this statement mean? Well, I think it's just a bluff. They're trying to scare Pal World because it doesn't seem like they would take any action at this point. Because if they haven't already, it's unlikely yeah. they well, will in the future. At this yeah. point, I don't think I, I I don't think they try to scare Pal World. It I was mean, just it a statement be, for the sake of a statement. I, I I think it might be it might be a little bit of a like, hey, bros, we didn't do anything yet, but be careful with where you move. M maybe. Uh, but I think the main reason is because they got spammed by, by Twitter kids uh, trying to protect Pokemon. It is point. It has been a while. It's not just that the game has been released for about a week now. The trailer released over two years ago. So they would have taken action at some point if they had a legitimate claim. And now if they try to, it's obvious it's only because of the success that Pal World has been having. But I think further proof that they're not going to take action is reflected by this right here. So a lot of the popular... Po I saw that on Twitter. Like, all the Pokemon mods things, like the, the people who tweeted pictures from it, they have all been taken down. All of them. From from TikTok as well? Or uh, just from I, I, Twitter? I, I, I have no idea Because about I, I saw a few, a few TikToks too about the mod. But like on, on Twitter at least, like everything looks like this. <laughs> Pokemon-related mods that have been introduced to Power World have been taken down by Nintendo. But We've even seen videos like... Pokemon and Nintendo like is really quick then, because that mod came out like two days ago, or when did it came out? Oh, I they was... even blocked Gold's video! <laughs> Great. About the mod! <laughs> Jesus Christ! So, see, that's what I mean. With Nintendo, usually super fast yeah. when it comes to that kind of stuff. And with Power World, they're not. And, like... I you can't tell me that they haven't seen power before it came out and if they would have shot there like none of us wouldn't even like noticed it probably most of us now that it's out and it put it out that amount of money it's way more difficult to take it down and i think if they would have had like any grounds to shoot it down they would have done that way before the game came out like this one from asmongold get taken down by nintendo because it shared one of these pokemon mods again if they're able to take down popular mods as well as a video from someone like Asmongold that tells me that they'll take action where they can and the fact that Power World this huge Nintendo competitor video. has not been touched by Nintendo and its lawyers yet says that they might not have a leg to stand on in this case and we've seen that from yep. lawyers who have commented on the situation we cover this in other videos they said that they would have an amazingly hard time making any sort of a copyright claim against Power World because of the identity of the game yes they have this similar Pokemon vibe with the Pals but the identity of the game itself it's is very different. different. Yeah. It is yeah. Pokemon with guns yeah. for a reason. People identify this game with violent themes. That is yeah. something that is not also, shared with Pokemon um, games. Pal World is going into a completely... A complete... <clears throat> my voice. Completely other direction with the PvP coming and everything. The whole game you cannot compare to, yeah. to, to Pokemon. Besides the fact they have like a catching mechanic, which Pokemon isn't the first game who did it. And even if they were, they don't have like the copyright on that kind of stuff. Like, if if they if they had, they would need to sue like Ark as well. But I think Pal because World that's is, nothing different. Pal World is focusing more on the PvP stuff and the raids and the bosses and the like yeah, the dungeon it's like aspect. Yeah, completely different video. And you can see from the developers, they're pretty confident in their claims. They're obviously nervous dealing with someone like Pokemon, but they have outright stated since the release that they are not faced with any legal issues as yep. of right now. And going further, they stress once again, like a lot of the lawyers point out, that their game is something different than Pokemon in terms of its identity, and that they take their games very seriously and have absolutely no intention of infringing upon the intellectual property of other companies. And they go on to say uh, that Power World was created from the premise of combining an open world survival game with a monster collecting slash raising game. So that's that's basically the important thing, right? Uh, Power was created combining the open world survival game with a collecting slash raising game. Those are types of games. Those are genres. <clears throat> Pokemon does not own them. Nintendo mm -hmm. does not own them. 
None of them do, which is a good thing because we should be like, imagine if it would have worked like that. Imagine if like a game company could own a genre. We would have no Souls like games. We would have no shooters. We would have no games to play because there could be only one company. Like imagine like only Activision would own shooters. You could only play Call of Duty for the rest of your life. The, Jesus fucking Christ, man. And while the developers of Pal World did not reference Pokemon as a great predecessor, they created something that Mizobe, the developer, describes as feeling completely different. He even mentions that in regards to the game mechanics, Pal World is a lot more similar to the action-adventure survival game Arc Survival yeah. yes, Evolved. Yes, definitely. Now, it seems like the more we look into the developers of Pal World, the better and better they look. They are deserving of a lot of respect right now. There's some crazy... Wait, I'm, I'm pausing for a second. There's, there's a plane. A very loud plane. We need to pause for a second. Hey Shaker, by the way. I want to go back to the days when a game had to be completely done before there was a release date and there was no such thing as DLCs. I feel like though, Power is doing it very, very right. Like their game is like the mechanics work, uh, the gameplay works. They have already a bunch of content in it and all they add right now is basically like new content. and. I'm I'm completely fine with that. Yeah, also they did, did like a huge update today or yesterday that was like 18 gigabytes that... Yeah, but it didn't add that much. Yeah, but it was only bug fixes, which is yeah. a good thing that and, they did so much. And uh, it's like Vampire Survivors did the same thing. Like they basically rele early access released the finished game and just added content so it had enough content for like a full release. I'm I'm totally fine with that. These stories coming about coming out about their story and how this game was developed. So right here you see this headline. Power World struggled to find a developer with shooter, shooter experience in Japan before stumbling on a self-taught hobbyist who worked at a convenience store. I, I want feel like all those stories, man, about the power deaths and how like the models have been designed and like this now is absolutely insane. They're like they went up to some guy in a convenience store to be like, hey bro, do you wanna like design Pokemon for us? I had someone working on Power World to be obsessed with guns. I'm so glad that I met him. So let's see the details of this. We wanted someone experienced in so FPS stupid. slash TPS game production. If we couldn't find someone in Japan, we'd have no choice but to hire someone from abroad. But none of us are fluent in English, which would make things tough. A miracle occurred. While browsing Twitter, Mizobe stumbled upon an anonymous account filled with gun reloading animations. After exchanging messages, it was revealed that the mystery artist was a 20-year-old 20, 20 part-time convenience store employee of Hokkaido with a middle school diploma and zero industry experience. Imagine working at a convenience store and putting out a, a tweet about something you're passionate and like a game dev studio about now like a, a, a One that's like has now has like a multi-million dollar IP Messages you and is like, yeah, hey, you want to work for us and design like Pokemon with guns? Like, yeah, fuck, I'm down The experience the artist had taught himself how to animate entirely by watching YouTube videos and at that point, they would offer him a full-time position as well as housing in Tokyo to start working on Power World. And as they that said, it might have seemed like a scam to this person, but they... But also, I think that's kind of also, uh, like, the industries in general should should kind of shift towards that kind of, like, accepting those kind of people as well. Because there's a lot of people who are self-taught because they're passionate about it that didn't go to university and study it. And they're still really, really good. Obviously, they might like some of the basics or like some some kind of stuff of experience, but that's something you can learn them pretty quickly because if there's a person that sits at home in their free time learning something that they're passionate about, like he's gonna pick up very, very quickly on that kind of stuff. And that's a valuable like employee to have. They took it at the moment and it was a great decision for both parties. An amazing decision to give someone like that a chance to work on their game yep. who had no experience and self-taught. And going further, we have learned that allegedly Pal World started with a budget of only $10,000. It just goes to show that this is yeah. a self-made success. That is something that- And now it is like, has earnings over like a hundred million by this point, Stonks. I think. That, that's like big stonks, It should man. be celebrated, not taken down a peg by Twitter users trying to slander yeah. and basically 
chop all the success of this game to things like plagiarism and other things that have not been proven. And we we should be celebrating a game with a low budget, with inexperienced people, self-taught people, reaching immense levels of success while offering a affordable $27 game that is only roughly half the cost of your standard title nowadays. And when asked about their creative vision, this is what the developer said. What's your creative vision? I don't have a creative vision. I just want to make a game that people like. We've seen gaming journalists. You guys did that. Look at stuff like this and basically say it's a sellout game. No, it is not selling out to make a game that gamers actually want to buy because it has enjoyable features and is affordable. Now, there's also another screenshot going around. I cannot confirm that this is the words of the developers. This could be edited. We don't know for sure, but this has made the rounds on social media and YouTube and the like. And it basically says right here, when referring to different aspects of the game, the developer allegedly says, the decision to make Pokemon with guns was because they were worried the game would not be a global success unless they added guns to it because Americans like to shoot things. And then they- I love that type of worldview. Hey, Fox, by the way. Uh, I love that type of worldview from the Powell developers, basically stating like, yeah, we want this game to go viral on the Western market. What could we do? Hmm. Oh yeah, Americans love guns. Let's put fucking guns in it. It's awesome. It's it's. Uh, um, such I a mean, great apparently deal. they hit it right on the spot because otherwise it they wouldn't did. be that successful. Also, the second type of like the character creator. I don't know if he talks about it. Like Americans sometimes want to make a very ugly characters. It's like <laughs> Smokey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but it's like. You can see how foreign this all is to him, to them. Like the whole concept of like America and the, the Western world, right? It's like writing like that is something that's so foreign to them. And still hitting the freaking nail on the head with it is insane. Like our own studios don't produce games that like that. They go further saying the gender neutral type A character creator was likewise because Americans sometimes want to make very ugly characters Americans uh, based and if true they hit the nail yeah. on the head but again you can't confirm this but a lot of people have been uh celebrating this post and, and ha- is that my way to get a green card in america by the way like i can prove that i've that, that i made an <laughs> ugly character in a video game can i get my green card now thank you having a good laugh about it but going forward there's more and more proof that the developers of pal world have been taking things in stride obviously This has been a very overwhelming experience, even in a positive way. Just an enormous level of involvement with their franchise, breaking all kinds of Steam records for concurrent players, crashing the servers because they have over 2 million million people playing at the same time. It's crazy stuff. But in that, they've also received a lot of things like death threats and against themselves personally as developers. Which is something you should never, ever do in any context. There's nothing a person could do, nothing, and I mean that. There's nothing a person that could do that warrants death threats in any way, shape, or form. Because first of all, if it's something really bad that they did, it doesn't make you any better than him, or her, or it. Um, it doesn't make you any better, and it doesn't help anybody. It's the same thing with like a discussion. Like, there's no point in like being toxic towards anybody or like insulting somebody just because he he has a different opinion. There's no point. And death threats is like the worst you can do. And against the company with outlandish claims and slander made against them and their product. And again, they've dealt with this in Strive, addressed it and been professional about it and just kept moving forward. That's the most important thing is to keep moving forward and making more content because they are on a huge wave of success Oh, they and they have now reached right now, over man. 8 million That's copies so six sold days. in less than six days, ladies and gentlemen. That is a Damn. absurd number. So that's what I meant. Like, their foreign view of, like, the Western world worked. And, keep, and keeping on that theme of pushing forward and giving players what they want, they released this entire Future of Pal World Path, their roadmap to the future, addressing many different planned future updates like PvP, raid bosses, arena, all kinds of things. And these are exactly the type of things that players are currently asking for. They are listening to their community and they're doing a great job of trying to integrate what people want into the future 
of this game. There's a lot Power of things World to celebrate about Power World, the, the history of its developers, the creation of the game, and the response to the success. There's a lot of great things. And uh, yeah, Power World's really just proving a lot of people wrong in terms of what makes a game successful and whatnot. And it makes a lot of people mad. And you know what? Too bad. But at the end of the yep. day, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoy. Please share all of your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, like 100% agreed. Uh, the fact that uh, what he said at the end with power is proving everybody wrong. So far, it seems like it. I don't think there's going to be any grounds on all those in the allegations that are that are coming out. And I think power is going to be a game that's here to stay.